Before anything else, I would like to thank all my Patreon subscribers. Without you guys, I simply would not have been able to buy the gas uh, to go to the coast and back. So thank you very much. You know who you are and you're awesome. Now, if you would like to uh, participate and help out this channel, please go to the uh, patreon.com link uh, down below in the description. Uh, everything helps. Thank you very much. So, oh, GPS. Second exit, next roundabout. They really like roundabouts. And I have to say, I wasn't convinced before, but uh, roundabouts do avoid uh, traffic lights. So it does save time. Anyway, I'm going back to the coast. The last time I had forgotten my uh, UHF antenna, I actually programmed uh, British repeaters inside my uh, RT3S. And I really want to see if I can connect to, uh, you know, repeaters in England from the French coast. Let's have a quick look at the uh, programming I did. This is the uh, Retevis uh, programming software. Here I'm entering Hastings. I already put the uh, RX frequency here, 433.35. And that's the uh, frequency, uh, receiving frequency for the radio. So, of course, the transmit frequency for the repeater. The TX frequency is 434.95, CT CSS tone 103.5, so that's on the receiving end, uh, decoding, and I'm also going to encode it, of course, same frequency, 103.5, and that's, of course, the uh, uh, characteristic of the repeater. We click on add, and uh, that's it for this channel. Then we'll add a DMR channel, just to show you. Uh, this one is going to be New Romney and uh, we'll set up the uh, RX frequency first. So that again is the uh, transmit frequency for the repeater and RX frequency for the radio, 439.7. There is a nine megahertz offset here. So uh, uh, it comes to 430.7 megahertz. Now we have to make sure that we select uh, digital and that will open up some options here on the right side. Contact name, uh, we'll set up local, which is uh, talk group number nine. Color code, as know is uh, I know, is three. And the uh, repeater slot, so time slot, is two. And that's, of course, uh, also given by the uh, repeater. Ham UK is a zone I created here. Uh, I'm going to be adding all the UK channels that I have. So we'll start with the uh, DMR simplex channels. Uh, from 1 to 6. The, the calling one is DH3, by the way. And I'll add all the uh, repeaters that I just created. Uh, we'll do this on VFOB, same thing. So this zone will have uh, UK on top and bottom. And here I add all the uh, repeaters that I uh, added previously. It is actually the third time I go to the uh, Cap Blanc Nave. But I really like that place because, of course, it's at 140 meters above sea level. And when you use VHF and UHF, height is probably the most important factor as far as range is concerned. You know, communications during World War II between France and England were of vital importance. And that's the last crisis we had. But I bet if there was another one, it would be just as important today. And here we are. And we see England. I can see the coast from here already. It's a very nice day, very clear. So that should uh, work pretty well today, I hope. Now the problem would be to find a parking spot. It might be just full, it's Saturday, so... So my uh, Yagi Uda antenna is ready to go, UHF of course, 
eight elements. I'll tell you, I've never seen the uh, English coast so clear here before, and it's the third time I, uh, I come, and it's really amazing. So here we have the uh, RT3S, and I'm going to start calling on the uh, British repeaters. And uh, we'll start with uh, Hastings, that's UHF. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Over. Don't get a reply, so I'll switch to the next one. Now we'll probably switch to, yeah, DMR. Folkestone. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Over. New Romney. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Over. No reply. I don't know what to say. Has things again. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Over. Ah, something. Go ahead, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. This is Golf 8, Papa, Uniform, Oscar. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, this is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. And uh, I am here at uh, the Cap Blanc uh, on the French coast and uh, using a handheld and a portable Yagi. Over. Yeah, Foxtrot. Roger Dave, yeah, you will have a uh, well, a very good signal here. I am indeed portable at the uh, at uh, Cap Blanc on the French coast uh, with a handheld and the uh, portable uh, Yagi. Uh, back to you. Excellent. Well, pleased that uh, you're you're getting in okay. Um, and uh, a bit of smooth noise on you at the moment, but it's fine. So I'll let you uh, monitor the, the repeater. Maybe other people that would like to speak with you, and I'll continue working. Um, take care, seven threes, Golf Eight Papa, Uniform Oscar. Thank you very much, Dave, and you have a great day. And yeah, if anybody's listening, uh, please uh, reply. I just had to find the uh, correct uh, direction for my antenna here, and I think I, I got it. So uh, I'll uh, get back to uh, listening. Uh, Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, over. That is good, and uh, I can receive you. Uh, in Eastbourne also on the input without any problems, so it's a good signal. Take care, seven threes, G eight P U O. Have a good one. Uh, you're getting into it extremely well from that distance. Must be quite a distance. Always well, nice to find people to hold your antenna the, for you. Uh, the <laughs> um, I uh, YouTube. wonder have you been in uh, station calling, this is Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, do you copy? Yeah, Fox Fox Trot for Whiskey Bravo Yankee Golf Zero Sugar Yankee Queen. Um, in Hastings, where the repeat is based on the southeast coast of England. Very good. I think that's why I'm pointing my antenna right now. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I think it's the right direction now. So uh, I had a little bit of a problem earlier because uh, it wasn't quite uh, reaching over. But uh, I'm here at uh, Cap Blanc on the French coast on the cliffs. 
and uh, using a little handheld uh, 4 watts and a uh, handheld uh, portable Yagi. Over. Roger, roger. Well, you're doing well. Um, well, cross cool. the channel anyway. You're getting into the repeater in Hastings. Um, yeah, good. Very good. Name's Matt. Mike Alpha Tango. Well, nice to meet you, Mark. Uh, yeah, it's a great day uh, today to be outside and uh, operating a radio, that's for sure. I also have my, uh, uh, if anybody's listening, I also have my uh, PRC351 and I'm listening now on 51.5 megahertz, 51.5 megahertz. Um, so if anyone has uh, any uh, gear, uh, military gear maybe that can uh, reach over, uh, I would love to use that radio. So <laughs> back to you, Mark. Unfortunately, I don't have um, my um, setup at the moment or on, otherwise I would have done. Um, just been messing around with some antennas. Um, but yeah, you, I'm sure somebody else might be on here. Uh, it's a very busy repeater you've come into. So um, you should get um, quite a lot of contacts on here today. Um, there's always a lot of stations using this repeater. Back to you. Oh, very good. Well, I wasn't quite sure which one I had, you know, I wanted to program into my radio and I've programmed like seven or eight, uh, you know, like I think I have six on uh, UHF FM and a couple on VMR and uh, I'm going to try uh, oh, uh, again uh, to contact them. I, I tried Margate. Uh, what else was there? Uh, I just don't remember, but Margate, uh, Rye and uh, I don't know, there was a few others over. Yeah, Margate is quite a distance away from where you are. Um, the ones, the repeaters that you want to try are the Eastbourne repeater, the Eastbourne repeater, Folkestone repeater, Folkestone. and also the Dover repeater. So that's Dover, Folkestone and Eastbourne. And um, you should be able to get them okay. Um, trying to get Margate, that's, um, that's a little bit further away. I think you might have a few difficulties um, actually getting into that one. I think the call signs Foxtrot Bravo, uh, Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Foxtrot number four, Whiskey Bravo Yankees, that's correct. Golf Zero Sugar Yankee Queen. Yeah, that's correct, Mark. Uh, Foxtrot for Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Uh, uh, correct. And uh, well, I'm going to try to uh, make a few contacts and uh, maybe I'll try on DMR as well. Maybe I'll try DMR Simplex, I'm not sure, but like I said, I really would like to make a 6 meter FM contact on my PRC351. So if anyone hears me, 51.5, 51.5 megahertz. Back to you, Mark. Okay, many thanks. Good luck. Enjoy yourself. I can get many of the French repeaters from my location. I'm actually sat um, on top of the cliff tops overlooking the English Channel there, so uh, many French repeaters coming through, um, very strong, so good luck, have fun, and um, I wish you uh, all the success in your de-exing across this channel this <laughs> afternoon, enjoy the weather, bye bye for now, G0SYQ, 7 free. Thank you very much, Mark. Uh, you have a great day as well. And uh, you, you'll check later on uh, YouTube uh, with my QRZ and you, uh, you'll find I'll have a video. Uh, I'm making a YouTube uh, video. So have a great day. Foxtrot for Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Back to listening now. Over. OK, bye bye for now. Um, <coughs> keep listening on here. There's lots of stations will come on. It's very it's quiet at the moment, but I can guarantee you within the next half an hour there'll be quite a lot of stations on here. Bye bye for now, G0SYQ73. You take care. Have a good one. M0 IFC. I think 61 megahertz is outside our legal band plan. <laughs> uh, say that again. Um, I think. Uh, I don't think our licenses allow us to use 61 megahertz. I'm just confirming that now, but um, I think 61 megahertz is outside our six meter range. I think we, a quick look, it was 50, 50 megs up to 52 megs-ish. Absolutely.
absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I said uh, I meant 51.5 megahertz. 51.5 megahertz. Uh, back to you, Fort Fort Four. Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, over. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any um, six meter gear set up either, so um, other than a, a six meter handheld, eh, be a long shot. Yeah, probably you'd have to be on the cliffs, I guess, uh, like I am right now on the other side. Anyway, nice to hear you. Uh, this is Foxtrot for Whiskey Bravo Yankee. First name Gilles, uh, Golf India Lima. And here again uh, at the Cap Blanet uh, on the French coast with a handheld and a portable Yagi. And uh, back to listening. Foxtrot for Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Over. Um, as a silly question, can you confirm the frequency on six meters you're listening to? Did you say 51.50? That is correct. Uh, 51, 51.5, 51.50 megahertz FM. Over. Received. Thank you. Anybody else for Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee uh, Portable uh, at the Cap Blanet French Coast. Over. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. I think I did find it, but the problem was that my uh, PRC351 has uh, 25 kilohertz steps and uh, I think the repeater uh, doesn't fall uh, uh, on those frequencies, so that was the issue. Otherwise, I definitely would have tried. Over. Okay, well, it's uh, <laughs> sitting on the bench at the moment, but uh, um, it will be operational hopefully within a couple of weeks. But understand about the, uh, the channel spacing on your radio. Okay, 73 is G8PUO. <laughs> okay, well, if it's on the bench, that must be another one that I saw on the internet. So, uh, but hey, yeah, maybe when you set up the frequency, you can uh, keep that in mind, uh, you know, 25 kilohertz uh, steps, and that would allow a lot of uh, military radios to, to use the repeater. And also, uh, you know, with the uh, 150 hertz uh, CTCSS tone, you know, which all those radios all have. So, uh, just an idea. Uh, back to you, over. Uh, G uh, P U O. Okay. Unfortunately, the frequencies are, uh, are allocated for us, and um, so they are fixed, uh, as is the CTCSS. But uh, I'll uh, email you the details, and and maybe we can speak again uh, and try in the future when the repeater's on on site. But, uh, anyway, seven three for the moment. G eight P U O. Thank you very much and uh, have a great day. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, over. Sure. Huh? No, I'm talking to, to England. Okay. Well, uh, uh, amateur radio repeater. So uh, it, it's just people like me who, you know, just listen and uh, like to talk and without passing, you know, using a telephone. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun, you know. At least I'm, I know I'm pointing in the right direction now, but uh, yeah. And that's, a, that's an old uh, British military radio that I'm going to try uh, also uh, try to... Well, it's not very far, yeah. yeah. You, are, you fr are you from England? No, Germany. Huh? Germany. Oh, Germany, okay. Very good. Very good. I, I forgot... M60 uh, WD when all the um, DX is uh? coming in? GZOSYQ. Mm -hmm. I'd be working, M0 JBR. There you go, there's a gentleman in France, have a go. Hi guys, this is uh, Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, uh, Cap Blanc et French Coast, over. So as I was, um, it's Matt again, I was trying to um, pass you over to Jamie, M0 JBR, who's uh, also on the repeater, you may want to give him a shout. Oh yeah, sure, sure, absolutely. Uh, you know, anyone uh, willing to uh, have a little chat? Uh, 
I'm ready. So, uh, uh, well, he can call me uh, Foxtrot for Whiskey Bravo Yankee. And if you could give me uh, his call again, thank you. I think he's, um, he's vanished um, there. He, um, he likes to do the disappearing act. So he'll probably be on later. But uh, I just thought it was worth a go anyway. G0 SYQ. Roger that. Uh, thank you very much for the uh, suggestion. Well, I'm going to uh, gonna go back to listening now, so in case uh, anyone wants to call. But I will also uh, try to call on my uh, PRC351 on 51.5 megahertz. Maybe see if I can raise someone, that would be great. So, uh, Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, back to listening, over. Okay, bye-bye for now. Right, yes, I do use uh, two meter SSB sometimes. I have an old uh, ICOM IC251E and a portable Yagi. And uh, I took it here uh, uh, right next to the, you know, on the cliffs too one time. Actually, I do have a video on YouTube. You can search for it. It's uh, Cap Blané. I don't remember what I called it, but uh, uh, calling England on uh, two meter SSB, I think that's what I called it. And uh, yeah, I had uh, some great conversations here on the, on the cliffs on the two meter SSB. And uh, even FM, we switched, on, we switched to FM uh, cross polarized and it actually worked, which is amazing. So, but I'm glad to see that uh, UHF does work as well here with a little handheld. Over. Yes, and I think, I think today the conditions are quite low today because uh, we, we often, um, when we have the conditions, we go through the, the parish repeater um, and quite a lot. I think it's 145675. And we do use another one. Um, there's a sort of repeater in, uh, I think it's in Holland, or is it Belgium, on uh, 145600 and 145775. There's another one we use when, when the conditions are right, over. Right, yes, uh, I imagine it might, uh, you know, it, it, it probably works quite well, I imagine. Um, and it's amazing when the conditions are, are right, uh, what can be done with, uh, you know, just a few watts on FM, uh, which uh, you wouldn't think it would work that well sometimes, but uh, it might not be very often, but when it does happen, it's certainly, uh, certainly great. Over. Yeah, very well. It hasn't, Mr. Zages, um, about, um, about um, four and a half years ago, we had, well, it was a humongous, a humongous uh, um, propagation. I was actually in Hastings Town Centre, uh, slap bang in the middle of all the concrete, in all the buildings all around me. And um, for three, for three days, we, we, we was all working um, stations um, all over the place, um, right through France, Belgium, Holland, and um, it, was, it, was, it was activating repeaters, Berber Field, um, it was working. I actually worked um, a scout group climbing a, climbing a mountain in Austria. Oh yeah, that's amazing, amazing. Uh, well, I used to live in Florida and we had a repeater over there, the, the uh, Verna repeater that was at 1400 feet. Uh, of course, Florida is all flat, but uh, they had a huge tower. And uh, I think uh, once I heard a guy from uh, Venezuela <laughs> uh, triggering and you know the repeater and calling CQ on uh, on a Florida repeater, which which is also absolutely amazing. Over. Yeah, well, I'll, 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 I'll back to Adieu, Mathieu. Well, same, same that, um, in Hastings. Well, I was in Hastings right. well, right. probably years ago now. Uh -huh. We were on 10 metres. Right. Right. Well, just a lot. And uh, uh, one of my um, Hastings. friends over this way, M1 EQB, well, well, he was see. actually in Becks Hill. I was in Hastings. And we were having a QSO with each other through the New York repeater. <laughs> We were stronger to each other going through the New York repeater and we work to each other on, on um, analog. But it's quite, quite interesting. Well, I'll, I'll pass the key back to um, G0, Sugar, Yankee Queen, Mike 6, PWD Mobile. Yep, G0, SYQ returning. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. I need to write your name down. Um, if you could just give me your name on the next, um, on the next over. I'm going to have to disappear in a few seconds. I'm also going mobile, um, but I've got to go and get my wife from work. It's 
um, so um, I shall be back shortly. Uh, if you could just give me a name, and then I'll go on QRZ, and I'll drop you a line from G0SYQ. Yeah, certainly. Uh, my name is uh, Gilles, Golf India Lima. Golf India Lima, uh, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey Bravo, Yankee, back to you and have a great day. Okay, no problem, many thanks, fantastic. Um, if you're around a little bit later on, um, maybe we could try Simplex, that would be good. I've got a, um, um, a 13 element Yagi um, up on a mast outside the um, location there, looking over the channel, so. Um, I should be able to work your simplex as well, which would be good. Okay, many thanks. Catch you later. Back to Paul, M6 PWD, mobile. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in your mobile now. This is fair for a minute. So, um, Jill, I say 7 feet over in France for now. I wish you a very, very um, a good afternoon. Thanks for the contact. And uh, yeah, keep, keep, your, keep your ears uh, monitoring it in the evenings on um, 10 metres. There's a lot of us over here uh, in Hastings, Bexhill and Australian areas. We get on um, 28520, 28520. Um, on most evenings, you always, if you can hear us, um, give a call in, over. Sure, uh, maybe I'll give it a try. I only have one radio that can do that. It's a uh, Alacraft KX2. So not a whole lot of power, but uh, you know, who knows? You never know. Over. Thank you very much and uh, have a great day. Foxtrot for Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Yankee. <laughs> Back to listening. Your call sign sounds sound familiar. I'm sure, we, I'm sure we have worked before. Okay, seven phrase, all the best. Well, either we have worked on uh, two meter SSB here from the same location, or you've seen my call sign on YouTube, or uh, I don't know, CW maybe. Over. Same to you, Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee, over. There you are, Paul. And it was only Dave and me on. And no PWD, and I'm going, where's Paul? When is the lift on? Or oh, when is the, you know, uh, international superstar station across the channel on? Nowhere to be seen. Yeah, man, I'm just, 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 just on my balls there, man. Yeah, no worries, catch you all in a bit, GZOSYQ, also going mobile, bye-bye. So, I can't believe how well it worked. <laughs> I'm really pleased with the results. Uh, I could hit a couple repeaters, actually three repeaters. Hastings, uh, Canterbury, but nobody answered on that one. And Margate, and that was awesome. Oh, Okay, I have to make a left. So, uh, yeah. And actually, I could even trigger the repeater uh, in Hastings without the uh, Yagi antenna. I didn't try Margate, but uh, Hastings was no problem. So that little uh, RT3S works pretty well. I have to say I'm very pleased with the results here. <laughs> I knew reaching a repeater over in England because of the distance. I mean, it's only about maybe, I don't know, 25 miles uh, to 50 miles, something like that. So it's not that great a distance. I knew it was going to work, but it's always nice to uh, confirm the theory <laughs> with practice. And I had a great time. It was a great day. So very positive results. I could even hit the repeaters with the uh, whip antenna without using the Yagi but having a directional antenna is definitely an advantage in some situations. Have a good one!